hello and welcome back to my youtube channel history of us i'm so sorry that it's been so long since i posted a video but i'm really excited to be back here with you today so you guys have probably heard of an organization called the girl scouts but have you ever wondered why it was founded well Today, I'm going to tell you the story about the woman who founded the Girl Scouts. Her name was Juliet Lau, and she was born October 31st, 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. She was nicknamed Daisy. Her parents were William Washington Gordon II and Eleanor Nellie Kinsey Gordon. She had five siblings. As a child, she was very artistic. She painted, wrote poems, performed in plays, and drew often. She attended multiple boarding schools from the age of 12, including Virginia Female Institute, Stuart Hall, Edge Hill, Mademoiselle Charbonniers. In 1886, she married William McKay Lau, and they moved to England. They were planning on getting divorced in 1905, but William died before it was finalized. In 1911, Juliet met Lord Robert Baden-Powell, who was the founder of the Boy Scouts and British Girl Guides. This was where she got the idea of starting a similar organization for girls in the United States. She worked together to create a few groups of girl guides in Scotland as well as England, and then returned to the United States to start a chapter in her hometown was officially started on March 12, 1912. Every troop that she created was divided into smaller groups called patrols that were named after flowers. They taught a variety of skills such as knot tying, cooking, map reading, first aid, and earned badges for doing so. In 1913, the organization spread to other states, meaning that they had to have a national headquarters in Washington, D.C. They changed their name to the Girl Scouts and published How Girls Can Help Their Country, which was adapted from the British How Girls Can Help B to Build Up the Empire, and that book was for the Girl Guides that Lord Robert Baden-Powell had started. And in 1915, they officially changed their name to Girl Scouts of America. There's a couple funny stories that I read about Julia gordon Lau that I found to be really interesting. And as a little bit of backstory to the first one, she was completely deaf in one ear from an infection as a child and almost deaf in another ear from a punctured eardrum. So Julia was known to fake being completely deaf when people tried to back out on commitments to the Girl Scouts. And she was also said to trim her hat with carrots and parsley and then tell people she couldn't afford to have it redone because she was saving for the Girl Scouts, which was all done in an attempt to bring more attention to them. During World War I, Julia enlisted the Girl Scouts to help with the war effort by wrapping bandages, raising funds, planting gardens, and other activities. In 1918, she returned to England for the International Council of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts, which was spearheaded by Olave Baden-Powell to try and expand these organizations globally. And they were successful in expanding to South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, as well as China. Juliet was awarded the Silver Fish from the Girl Guides, which was the highest award they could have given her. She officially stepped down from her role as the president of the Girl Scouts of America to promote it internationally. And her birthday, October 31st, was established as Girl Scouts Founder Day in 1920. In early 1920, Juliet was diagnosed with breast cancer and underwent unsuccessful treatment. And she died on January 17th, 1927. Julia is a member of the National Women's Hall of Fame, was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Obama, and her birthplace is now a National Historic Landmark. Thank you so much for tuning in today to hear the story of the woman who founded the Girl Scouts. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you're interested in the sources that I used for research purposes, they'll be listed right after this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, topic suggestions, anything like that, please feel free to email me at abby at historyofus at gmail.com. And you are also welcome to leave a comment on this video or submit a response to the topic suggestions form that is linked in the description of this video. Then I would just like to quickly announce that from now on, I will only be posting videos monthly just because with schoolwork and family stuff, it's really difficult to do it bi-weekly. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.